In this video here, I want to walk you through challenge exercise in section 2.2 of Zybooks. Okay, so here's the, here's the problem I have for, for this challenge activity. So it says click here to download the spreadsheet for this activity. So when I do that, um, I see this Excel spreadsheet with all these different tabs down here that have different data on, on home, on purchasing a home. Okay, so the first problem says, um, create scatter plots using the income and housing data in the spreadsheet linked above. Great. Now adjust the range of values in the horizontal and vertical axis and create a trend line. Okay, so if you look here, it says the following scatter plot is created using one of the data sets in the income and housing data in the spreadsheet linked above. Okay, so what variables are picked? And if you click here and look, you have all these different options. So you have to figure out what these variables are. So if you look here, what they're saying is the X variables look like they go yeah, around 40,000 up to around yeah, a little over 80,000. And it looks like the Y variables are uh, around 100 to up to 400,000. So what you have to do is you have to look in here and you have to figure that out. Well, none of those variables seem to match. Uh, does this one, does this one match? It looks like, you know, income to, um, to mortgage amount, that could be it. Uh, income to selling price. Uh, maybe maybe this is a little bit better. Uh, doesn't look like this one or this one. So what I'm going to do is let's take this uh, home value or household income and selling price and let's create the scatter plot. So I'm going to select the two variables. I'm going to go click on the insert. and I'm going to create a scatter plot. Wow, look at that. I'm going to change the axis here to start at 40,000. And let's see, does this scatter plot here look like what we're observing in, in Zybook? So this was household income was my X and selling price was my Y. So let's see, like this. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So it was household income and selling price. And now what is the direction of the correlation? Well, it definitely looks like it's positive, right? Because it's going upward. And if you look at the strength here, well, you know, it, you can definitely see the relationship, but it's not like a really great, great line. So it looks to me like it's moderate, which is great, which is what we got correct there. All right, let's go to the second part. Okay, so what we see here is we have the equation for the regression line that predicts the probability of default in percent using FICO score as the explanatory variable. Okay, so what we have here, Y is gonna be the probability of default and X is the person's FICO score, okay? So if you look here, you have the person's credit score and their probability of default. And what it looks like here is, is as credit score goes up, the probability of default goes down, okay? So you can see that. So what's going here as X, as X goes up, the slope is telling us that the Y variable is gonna go down, okay? So an increase in FICO credit score here, all right, the probability of default is going to, um, so increase in FICO score as the probability of default increases. So you're gonna decrease in probability here, okay, of default as the FICO credit score increases. And now what is the um, interpretation of the intercept here? Well, if you look here, you know, you can only interpret the intercept if you have x values close to zero, which you do not. So here there's gonna be no practical interpretation. And look, we got it right. So you just have to pay, pay very attention to the wording here as it can be somewhat tricky. Um, but I hope this helps seeing me walk through this challenge exercise.